guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the My Player series here on Xbox One, and we're coming back to League One action today after our international debut on Sunday. If you missed that video, there'll be a link to it in the bottom left hand side of your picture. Also, just feel free to uh, to check this channel page. And one thing, actually, I have to say thank you to you guys. I asked for a hundred likes, considering it was our international debut, and you guys smashed two hundred likes, which is absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for that. We recently hit seven thousand eight hundred subscribers as well. So the road to 8k definitely is real right now the uh, the channel's been getting some superb support uh, it obviously will have been boosted a little bit by the fact that you guys are, uh, are off school at the minute for your Easter holidays so I do hope you're enjoying your holidays but we're back to League One football today We've got games against Leighton Orient and Peterborough as you can see on your screen right now they want a minimum expectation of 7.9 as a match rating one goal and a goal to shot uh, percentage of 21 no assists needed from us in these four games and uh, Considering the form we're in, you really think we should be able to pick up that one goal. So uh, hopefully we can get a goal in this uh, in this game against Leighton Orient. Get that out of the way in the opening game of the four. But so we'll have just two today, Leighton Orient and then Peterborough United. And then of course, uh, a bit of a weird kick clash both ways there unfortunately. But we'll go with uh, home and away kits. But uh, yeah, bit of a kick clash. But hopefully we can pick up some good performances against Orient and Peterborough. We're doing well in the league. Currently sat second with a game in hand on the team that are top and all of the teams that are in the uh, in the playoffs but uh, Wolves at the top are miles and miles ahead of us I'll, I'll keep going until you see the uh, the league table drop down uh, on your screens but Wolves are miles ahead of us but we're doing well in the playoffs we've got a game in hand like I say and we're a couple of points above uh, some of the, play of the other teams in the playoffs so hopefully we can continue a good run of form and maintain that league position as you can see we are sat second in the league uh, playoffs are third to sixth so we're technically five points inside the playoffs already so if we can keep that up with a win here today hopefully with a goal as well from match objectives then that will be very very pleasing indeed oh calm down with your back heel boy they played the man in behind as well. They could be uh, on for a decent chance here late in our end. It's Chris Dagnall. Good tackle from Collins though. Defender getting back across well. Maybe we can counter-attack. Maybe we can... No, we're going backwards. Okay, fine. Well then, Brayford. I'll call cool for it. Chibangu's made a nice run. We'll play the lob through ball. Here's Chibangu. Can he put his one in up? Oh, his first touch is too heavy. Goalkeeper's able to beat him to it. And, oh, Orient are going to clear. That's a good chance there. Unfortunately, these first touch let him down. Otherwise, we, otherwise we could have found ourselves 1-0 up. We're picking up a corner here, 23 minutes in. I'm on the penalty spot, and it is coming our way. But, oh, what a fantastic training ground move. The corner's flicked on at the near post. And there's Billy Painter, I think it was, sneaking in at the back post. Beats the offside trap. And we find ourselves 1-0 up in the 24th minute. I'm going to absolutely jump on him, slam him to the ground. That was a, a nice move. I don't think it was intended as a flick on. I think it was a, a genuine shot from the centre-back that went up, won the initial header. But sneaking into the back post, fantastic positioning from Billy Painter. And it's Sheffield United 1, Leighton Orient 0. Involved again. Play the ball down the line for my man. He better get there. He has done. It's Scoogle. Nice whip. Billy's going to go up. He gets to the header. He's well saved. Gets to the header again. It's well saved again. Goes out for a corner. Fantastic double save from uh, the Leighton Orient goalkeeper there. Well done from uh, Billy Panner to win both of those headers. It was under pressure from the defenders all the way, all the time. But we've won the header from the corner. It's cleared off the line. So close to getting ourselves a second goal here. But it's not quite going in just yet. It's fantastic defending. Look, look at the way we're absolutely hounding them on the edge of the box. As soon as someone gets the ball to feet, there's a man in front of him straight away. It's fantastic defending. Exactly what you need to try and maintain a lead in a game like this. And that rhymed and it wasn't intended to. <laughs> nice cross from there. It's a bit deep, but they've got a man underneath that we should be able to clear here. And we have done. And we have the chance to counter-attack. Now, can Billy find a good ball for me? He's found me. I've not really taken it in my stride as much as i like to. Finesse, not finesse, strike from distance. I meant to say step over, but next song, what are you talking about, Xbox? It's a nice stood up cross. Man's at the back post. Fantastic reaction save yet again from the goalkeeper. We'll have uh, we'll have a corner though. The ball's going to come in. We've made a change. Begins come on for Scoogle. The ball's coming our way. Won the header and it's straight at the goalkeeper. Maguire's picked the ball up there. Played in me. Find a turn. Find a lot through ball. Looking for my man on the right hand side. It's big Jeff. He's going to cut inside. He's found me again. We'll have the shot. It's, well, that's handball. It is handball. We'll take a penalty. We will definitely take a penalty. Sorry, boy, but you've handballed that there. And it's going to be us to take the penalty as well. This would be good right at the end of the game. Get the second goal and an improvement in our match rating as well. So uh, oh, I hate that you can't skip these little animations here, though. It's really frustrating. Come on. I just want to take the pen. Right. Where do I go? I'm going to go top 
I'm going to go top right. I've not really got it in the green. Keeps goes the wrong way. We'll have a cheeky slide as a celebration. It's 2-0 Sheffield United. We have got the second goal. Taking a fortunate handball penalty for us to be able to get it. But we'll take a 2-0 lead. And you would think three points as well. Just found a man at the back post. Good save from Dominguez. And we should get it clear. Ooh, they almost had a penalty for themselves for handball there. I think that struck an arm. And that nearly found its way into the top corner. <laughs> Wowzers. Oh, that's the final whistle. We'll take a 2-0 lead. 2-0 lead. 2-0 win. That'll do. Three points a goal for us. Exactly what we needed. Great strike from Billy Payton from two yards out. We'll take a 6.9 rating. 80% shooting accuracy, which is decent. Just above the uh, goals. No, 20% goals to... Uh, Goals to game ratio, they were at 21, didn't they? But 92% pass that crew is nice. A lot of efforts for uh, for us in that game as a, as a team. Not necessarily for us individually, but still. We'll, uh, we'll take that. Three points. We'll move on to the Peterborough game. Hopefully we can pick up three points in that one as well. Starting quite tired in this one. The uh, the games are coming thick and fast. And as you might expect, we're playing every single game for Sheffield United at the minute. Considering we're the best player in the squad. But it's still not the best of things to keep starting every game a little bit... Uh, you know, more and more tired as things go on. As things go on, so hopefully that won't cause too much of a problem towards the end of the season. Especially if we have to, uh, we have to play on the playoffs as well. We get quite tired. Don't want to risk. Don't want to run the risk of uh, picking up an injury as well. Might have to get a little bit lazier in game, but I don't really want to do that to try and preserve my fitness. Because you know, where's the fun in that? But we've got the ball back here. Cody, can you do something? No, he get tackled. GG, mate. Little doing the work down the right hand side for Peterborough here. Cross drifted in. It's not the uh, not the hardest of takes for the goalkeeper, to be completely honest. He's going to try and find us. No, he's not going to try and find us. He's going to try and find Flynn, who's going to try and find us. And we found Flynn. Uh, was that two Flynns? I may have been mistaken. We'll whip it in anyway. Big Jeff's going to go up. We won a penalty. What for? That must have been for handball. You can only presume it's going to be for handball. We'll take it, but <laughs> sorry, Jeff. Actually, can I change player? I might, if I can give it to Jeff, I'll give it to Jeff. Because considering he won it, I don't want to be too ball greedy. That's just that's just not very nice. It's not very teammatey of me. Can I? I can stop the bar going by hitting right trigger, but I can't actually take take her. So we'll take it ourselves. We'll go mids. Bosch, keeper went. I guess went the right way, he just stood there, but it went over the top of his head into the back of the net. We take a 1 0 lead. It's our second goal of this episode, it's our second penalty of this episode, and perhaps maybe leading towards our second win of the episode as well. Going in at half time, then 1 0 up thanks to uh, thanks to that penalty for handball. Jefferson doing a bit of work in the box, he's also been doing a bit of work outside the box as well. He's been very, very energetic, so we say running around everywhere, getting stuck in in the tackles, creating chances. But we were the ones that took the penalty. We find ourselves 1 0 up heading into the second half, so hopefully we can continue. Should be a replay, yeah, he's just got his hands up in the air. And uh, it's an easy, easy decision for the referee, but we'll take that 1 0 as we head into the second half. Substitution on comes to Bangu for Cody. Hoping he, hoping he, hopefully he can liven up this second half. It's been pretty dead so far on the hour mark. Not really too sure the, whether I'll have shown you anything from this second half yet. But that's a bit of a brave throw on the edge of your own box. I'd rather you didn't do that, mate, to be completely honest. Chibangu's done well to win the ball back there. He's going to find us. Can we hold up, stand it up, and Chibangu get there? No, he can't quite. Well, it's dropped. Oh, they're going to get a free kick. Tabango involved straight away, though. That's a bit harsh to uh, to give a foul for that. Although maybe he didn't quite get off the air or into the air as well as he might have hoped. Give him a little cheeky nudge, but it is a physical game. I'm going to give this a whack. Oh, good save, goalie. We'll have a corner then. 67th minute. Chance to uh, to get a second goal again, if we can. The ball's going up. Jeff's gone up. Still got it, Jeff. I'm going to call for it, and then I'm going to give it a whack as soon as it gets to me. Ball loops up in the air. The man underneath it's McGinn. It's another good save by the goalkeeper. Jeff's up again, and another good save by Legendic, the goalkeeper. Peter, but under the cost here, but holding out well so far. Out wide. I'm going to make the run down the line, see if he can find me. It's not the best. The balls should be able to keep it in. We have done. I'll try and find him again. Here you go, Flint. Go on, then. That's nice. That's nice. 
I've been a bit greedy. I've tried to finesse it. It's almost gone to the top corner, but we'll pick up a free kick on the edge of the box. She's not picking up a card for it, though. We're going to have the free kick like we did before. Knight Percival with a foul. Just a little bit late with the challenge. That did actually look quite painful. We have got the free kick. What is our accuracy now? 60, curve of 69. Not the best, but we scored a free kick the last time we had one, so we'll try again. Up and over the wall and over the bar as well. Never mind. That's the end of the game, then. We'll take a 1-0 win. We were instrumental in both games, as to be said. Picking up a penalty in each, although, of course, Speedy Painter picked up one in the, uh, the first game of the episode as well. But six points out of six from today's episode. Two penalties, two goals, 7.1 rating overall. Still not the best, but better than the, uh, better than the previous one. 57% shot accuracy. We had three shots off target, unfortunately. But uh, we're doing well in the league. Now, we'll have a quick look at the league table to see where we are in the league. But that's going to bring this episode to a close, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to leave the video a like. If we could get over 100 again, like we did earlier on in the week on Sunday, that would be absolutely super. Of course, if you missed anything else on the channel over the past few days, feel free to check the channel page for it. Hopefully, we can uh, we can keep going and hit 8k soon that'd be fantastic maybe we'll hit it by the end of the month who knows but uh, as you can see we're sat second in the league still three points clear now of Coventry with a game in hand and uh, fingers crossed we can extend the league we're actually closing in on walls at the top of the table maybe we'll stand the chance to catch them before the end we've got 14 games left so uh, just seven episodes left before the end of the season but that's going to bring today's episode to a close thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time